Hello and welcome to the presentation. Um, what I'm going to show is how easy it is to send an um, electronic referral. Um, I'm going to send it to um, a practice management software and I'm using the medical object system. So let's just have a look and see how um, easy this is. So I'm just going to open up my um, Word and I've typed up a test letter here as you can see. So I'm just um, going to copy this and I'll, this little M pops up here. This is the medical objects program to send the letter. Okay, so it automatically populates it for me. Fills in the surname, given name, date of birth. So I just want to select who I want to send the referral to. So then I have a look up in the directory where all the health professionals would be located. In this case, I'm just looking up myself. Okay, so I'm just going to look for my um, VM I've got. Uh, running Medical Director 3.10. So it's put me in there as who the referral is going to be sent to. I click Yes. Now we have our PKI token. Now this is a security measure. It's optional at this stage. So um, we can send with um, a security key signature or we can send without. Either way it's still encrypted with PGP. So I'm just going to send without the signature. And the message has been sent and then it returns back to your letter. So then you can move on and type your next one. So now I'm just going to go to the VM. So this is the practice I've just sent to. So I've got um, my download program running here. And I can see here, if I just stop the messages, this is the log window. So it's saved an incoming message here into the C directory. And, and the message is in and it tells me it's an MO, it's a a ref letter, so it's a referral, and it's in HL7 format. So we know that it's arrived here, and it's situated in that folder. So now we can go to the practice management software now. Okay, so I'm just going to readjust the screen size here. Okay, so I'm just going to close this window. It's not working out too well. I'm going to just drag that down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to um, go to Investigations and I'm going to check my holding file. This What this will do is it will drag in any electronic um, messages that have been sent to me or results. So I choose the doctor I want to import. So that's myself, so I'm going to import anything that's been received. And here we go. This is the um, the letter that's just been sent through. So we can double click that and that'll open up. So I'll just close this window for now. So there we have we have the, the summary here. Um, and it has a, a test message. So this is basically the message that I sent off before and it's arrived and then from now you would just allocate it to the patient the patient chart or patient patient record. And then you just select it and you'd add it into the letters area. But that's just um, how quick and simple it is to to send electronic um, HL7 messaging. Um, we can also have a look here now and just check on the um, the delivery results. So if I maximise this window here, I can have a look at the date here. This is um, this is my practice here and these are results that have arrived. So these have we've received four messages today. I've sent some other test messages through also. But here we go, it just shows that from the medical object test test surgery we've received four results. Now this is the latest one here at the bottom, but if we look at the one just previously, um this this part here, just this is the first acknowledgement. This is basically the acknowledgement to say that it's received it here into the folder so that means that the result has landed it's a referral letter and it's landed at this time and that date and then when I've imported into medical director like I I did before when I imported my investigations here and I checked the holding file here and imported the message it's sitting in there So now that it's been imported into Medical Director, then we get this one here, and this tells it's been imported. So the sender 
who sends the correspondence um, will also have this um, delivery report as well so they will know when they've sent something to you and when you've imported it so you can track all your messages and it also tells you the type of letter and it tells you the patient name and who sent it to you and and various stuff if you send to someone who's, who hasn't um, received it or there's an issue it'll also tell you that as well in the report so I can just minimize both these um, I'm back to my message here I can just um, minimize that also so if I look on the machine that I actually sent the letter from um, I can go to that report and here we go this is the stuff I've sent to the, that surgery so these are outgoing files this is where I sent it from there's the messages that I've sent so it also gives me the same results I know when it arrived there and I know when it got imported by their practice software so as I was mentioned before both sides can have an audit report and that's about as simple as it is and it can correspondence can be sent backwards and forwards and you can track everything that you send and it is as simple to send as, as that and uh, thank you for watching